Welcome to another episode of People in Politics here on the Metropolis Channel. We're very honored today to have our newest guest, Summit County Clerk of Courts, Dan Horgan. Thank you. Thanks for having Dan, me. I appreciate it very for much. Coming by fun. today. I think that title is only in existence for a little while longer, right? Because well, you let, just have big news. Right. Let's hope it changes. I did win the primary uh, on September 8th. There's another general election to go here coming up on November 3rd. And it's and from the very beginning. This is from, for the mayor of Akron. This is for the mayor of Akron. And that's a big deal because we've it's, had a mayor of Akron for the same person for how many years? 30 now? years, 29 30. years. And wow. it is, there, is a, there is a void. Um, but that's even from, from June on, and that's what the campaign's been about. It's been a consistent message of how we can continue to move Akron forward in a, in a, in a good place because there's so many things that you learn on a campaign. Yeah. And that's been the fun part because you get around to different places. And you know, if you don't realize some of those concerns or if you don't listen to them, uh, they just kind of fall on deaf ears. So that's been a real fun part for well, me. Well, congratulations. Thank that's you very good. much. I appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank uh, you. What, a month from now? Uh, or less. Well, I think less it's less. Month, I think it's 28 right? days. It's going to come right? up very it's, quickly. It's, uh, and that's the thing. Days are just, you know, they start at 530 and they end somewhere around 10 with three kids. So it's it's <laughs> well, okay. We I know how busy you are. So we appreciate you no, coming I, on the show. I appreciate you coming up. This has been well, fun. Well, you didn't get to where you were very quickly. I mean, you've been involved in politics for a long time, right? Yeah, 15 years. I In 99, I decided to run just because I thought the person wasn't doing a very good job representing. And this whole kind of career arc has kind of been accidental. I didn't plan... You know, a lot of politicians, they get up and they say, when, when I'm 20, I want to be this. And I, it just didn't go that way. I just kept feeling that, you know, public service was a, was a good way to give back. So I ran for city council. I became in Akron, the, in Akron okay. Ward 1, um, in North Hill and kind of Highland Square area. Mm -hmm. And then uh, became the clerk of courts because, you know, we needed to do things a little bit different. They were looking for younger leadership. And then in June and May, this kind of came along and I filed a run. It's been in the back of my mind, but nothing where I was, you know, saying this is definitely going to be it or, or not. It just It's just worked out that way, and it's worked out great. And it's good to have the support of your family behind you too, right? You have, you have yeah. a big family, right? Yeah, I have uh, you know a brother and two sisters, my mom, a lot of cousins. And we grew up in a big family, Italian-Irish family on uh, North Hill. Have so. something in common with uh, Congressman Tim Ryan, right? Yeah, so we share, we, we commiserate the same way. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, in a lot, like I said, a lot of cousins uh, that are still in town. My mom still lives close to me. My brother lives right around the corner. Um, three daughters, you know, all wow. all in uh, in their teen years. There's like One, a special place in yeah. heaven for you with three daughters. You're not kidding. <laughs> um, and I just, you know, they all say, oh, poor you. I said, I'm blessed. <laughs> you know, my wife and I have been married 21 years. Um, oh, wow. It's, it's we just, like I said, we've been blessed with a, with, a, with a great family. They're wonderfully supportive of the effort. In fact, I mentioned to them, this is a, kind of a neat story. I thought I may run right at the end of April because things were maybe shifting around in the mayor's office. And I sat all of them down, all my cousins and all my, you know, my daughters and my mom and my wife. And I said, listen, I may run for the mayor's office for the city of Akron. What do you guys think? I wanted to get their input. Like, sure. you know, are you excited? Are you thinking? And they were all to a T. I have a little nephew. You know, I said, now, Rocco, you can't say anything. He goes, don't worry, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> it was so cute. And so he was walking down the street and one of our older neighbors said to my sister, hey, is your brother going to run? And Rocco goes, Mom, we're not allowed to say anything. It was a great <laughs> story. Crazy. So it was, he was, they were just so supportive. And to me, that's how I can do it. I mean, if they're not supportive at home, it'd be very difficult to, to be able to do And what's your wife's this. name? Her name's Deanna. Deanna. Yeah. Well, thank you, Deanna, for letting him continue his political career. We, we greatly appreciate it. We need to keep good guys like this around. I appreciate it. Yeah, and, she's, and she works full time. She's a, a psych uh, APN. So it's oh, a, wow. we have a very busy family. Uh, the kids are always all over the place, which is good. I mean, you want to stay busy, and but like I said, they're supportive of the well, efforts. How'd you guys meet? We uh, this is this funny one too. My sister, my sister and her cousin were getting married. Okay. And she asked, uh, my, my they're only a year apart, but I'm a, a few years older than my wife, but I won't say the exact number of years. <laughs> and she asked her to be in the wedding, and she said, okay, you know. And then my brother-in-law, my future brother-in-law, asked me because you got to, you know, the you ask your brother in law to sure. be in it. So we were partners in the wedding. You um, and your wife were partners. That's how you guys met. That's how we met. Our families have been friends for a long time, probably 30, 40 years, because our parents had, had hung out a little bit. Oh, And so wow. we've known each other. But like I said, I was a little older. Her, she has a brother that's two years older than me, and then a brother that's the same age. So we were partners. We kind of hit it off, and you know, a couple of years later, I proposed, and in '94 we got married, and you know, 21 years later, and three kids, and wow. it's a good story. It really is just you. very That's normal. Fantastic. We were uh, we were both in college because I had gone back to the university to get an education degree, and she was finishing up her nursing degree. So we just we finished and. And you grew up in Summit County, right? Oh, the yeah. Akron area. Yeah. You went to school at St. V. 
I knew this from the commercial. Right. Um, so you went to St. V and you worked at Swenson's that time period too, right? Well, I was a little bit after. Okay. I graduated actually when I was working at, uh, I went to Kent State and got a degree in economics and I was working at a place over on Grant Street, one of the last poultry houses in the city of Akron, DeFeo's Poultry. Wow. I worked there for six or seven years, getting up early and go to work, graduated. Didn't really like the which way the career was going, so I, I uh, went back and got a job at Swenson's and went back to Akron U. It's my favorite. For anybody who doesn't know Swenson's out there, it's the best cheeseburgers in America. They advertise it, and it's the truth. They're very good. I'm, gonna put, I'm putting you on the spot okay. right now. What's the secret I, to the meat? Yeah, I could tell burger. you, but then I'd have to kill you. It's one of those stories, too. I don't know. I swear when, when people would come in and ask when you're waiting on them, they say, what's the secret? I said, listen, I think two people know, and you can guarantee I'm not one you're of them. No, he wasn't going to tell They're me. They're not going to enlist that to no, a politician. No, exactly, especially back then. So worked through there, worked at Swenson's, and then just, you know, like I said, uh, the whole political part of it or the public service part of it kind of came about by accident because – we just didn't think the guy was doing a very good job and sure. just kept going forward. And, and here I am, you know, months away from uh, running for mayor for the city of Akron. So it's exciting. It really is. Every day is something different. Somebody's, you know, has an issue or a problem and sure. it's up to us to listen. So that's, that's the fun part, right? That's doing good. great. That's fantastic. Now, growing up in Northeast Ohio, big sports fan? Huge. I mean, I, you know, I did the 20. I Thank God I, I don't play softball anymore because you know how your elbows you and your did, knees. No. Yeah, 20 okay. years of that. I love to golf and I love to ride my bike. Those are the kind of Great. the two. Um, the handicap has not gotten very well over the last four <laughs> or five months. I just haven't been able to play. Uh, I still do a lot of cycling just in the area and sometimes, you know, I'll just ride up here. You know, I'll do 20, 30 miles maybe sometimes. Really? And then come back home. Yeah, it's wow. it, it's a it's a nice decompression chamber. That's impressive. Well, yeah, and I like to do that. I like to do it a couple days a week. It just has timing-wise hasn't worked out, so the rides have been a little bit yeah, shorter. Watching the Browns can obviously make you frustrated. Well, let so me tell you, <laughs> last Sunday I said, okay, do I watch the second half or do I maybe go out for an hour? And I said, you know what, I'm going to go ride for an hour. I it hope just, you I, you know, I really want, <laughs> I mean, room. we get we get brutalized when we, you know, when we watch them. And, we come back every Sunday. We're back again every it's Sunday. It's every night. time. I'm going to be there watching them again this the Sunday, captive right? audience. I don't know how it is. But it's the way. same way with the Indians and the Cavs, too. I mean, did you, you get to go you, any games this year, Indians? Not, or no. Browns? Well, I did go to one Indians game early on um, and, and haven't gone to a Cavs game. Didn't go last year. I plan on going this year, too. I, I want to see a title run. It, you know, by the by the team leader, LeBron James, who's from St. Vincent, St. Mary. St. Mary, right? You were right yeah, there. Yeah, I great. just missed him because I taught there for two years. Great. What did you teach there? I taught uh, government and economics okay. uh, for two years, and then I got a job at Stowe. So I'm talking to a pro right now in government. Side exactly. You, I understand the political part of it, <laughs> or at least the operations part of it. Yeah, yeah. But he, he had started after uh, after I, I had a nephew that graduated with him. Do you think you could have turned him from basketball into politics? No, I'm glad I did. I'm You're glad I had no 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 <laughs> choice to do that. Everybody no. in Cleveland thanks you, too, for oh, missing I, that part. No, right. He had his... He had his destiny, and he's followed it well. And the thing, he's given back so much to the Akron community, even Northeast Ohio. Sure. He's always done the right thing, and he's, uh, we're very proud of him, and I know, as I know everybody is. He's well, a, as hopefully will be the soon-to-be mayor, I'm predicting you're going to get to meet him I, soon. I'm I hope sure. so. At, at some particular point, I get to shake his hand and just congratulate him just for all he's done, even like for the high school, for our community. It's just a wonderful representative for all of us. So. That's great. Good well, role model. LeBron, we're going to try to get you to watch this video. Come meet Danny Horgan. He's we'll, a great guy. We'll click on for you. <laughs> we'll send it to your Twitter account. How's well, that work? Yeah. So. We'll tag you on Twitter. That's, that's for That's okay sure. by me. So that's it works great. out good. Well, you're an experienced government guy. You talk government. you are got a degree in, in uh, economics, economics right. and education, mm -hmm. right? So you know your history in politics. So I, I've yeah. asked everybody this question before. Let's see who you answer this one. Who's your favorite American president and why? Some of them are more fascinating to study than others. Because even agree. if you look at Nixon and his career, it's fascinating to study from that part of it. But favorites as far as role models has is, is got to be the Irish one, John Kennedy <laughs> and, and Abraham Lincoln, both, sure. because of the tone and tenor they set on, on, on a national level. Very important issues they dealt with. Exactly. And, and to me, going into office at some particular point, it's, a, uh, it's important about the tone and tenor that you set with your other elected officials, with the community. It's about having that calming influence and trying to work through issues as opposed to any other way. And those are, I think, those are the two role models that I'm going to try and follow as best That's I can. Right. And they're so. both very well respected still to this day. Right. And, and they were known as compassionate leaders. And that's that's what you need in the office. In any elected official, you have to have people that care. Because a lot of times you hear that joke, you know, we're from the government, we're here to help. 
I'm trying to make that not a joke, really. Yeah. So people, so when they're out there and they think that there is compassion in the city and they do want to help people move them along because we sink or swim as a city and as a region. We need to partner better with some of the other communities, sure. um, even in Summit County and even neighboring counties because we're all swimming or sinking as a region. And yeah. one of the phrases I use is a rising tide lifts all ships. Sure. So we want that tide That's to true. lift everybody. Right. It's yeah. an economics phrase, but it, it can help in anything that we're doing as a city, We're all too. part of the Northeast Ohio community, basically. Exactly, and right. as long as we work together, we can all rise up. And that's, it's, it's one of the mantras I, I plan on using is just improving some of those relations with the surrounding communities, too. So that's great. I look forward to it. That's great. Should be and fun. And I'm going to look forward to having you back on the show as the mayor of Akron. You let me know, and I'll make time to come up. It's only a 30-minute ride. There's restaurants right here. I have friends that will meet me for lunch, so we're doing good. Perfect. So, great. Anyways. Well, I look forward to having you back on the show. Thanks for having me. I this appreciate it. This has been it. great. Yeah. I appreciate it. And I hope everybody has learned a lot about Dan Horgan, and we hope to have him back on the show very soon. So thank you for tuning in and uh, check out new episodes coming up soon. Thanks, guys.